All right, man. So I want to talk about no money spent bills. And in this video, I'm asking for y'all's opinion, man. So drop me your thoughts down in the comment section. Before we get into everything, if you are running a no money spent bill, what are your methods for earning VC? Because I need to know the fastest ways that I can get VC. I know it's going to take some time, but what are y'all doing to get your VC as a no money spent bill? No money spent has been pretty controversial, man. Like uh, I know a lot of people would rather prefer to just spend that quick money on their bill and just be able to have a player that they could play with right out of the gate because of course no money spent takes time and in this video we're going to talk about some of the things that i hope the 2k will improve to make it less painful because not everybody has the money to drop on their bills you know it's a bunch of kids out there but it's just some people who just would prefer to rather put the hours into the game and not spend the money but i don't know if i just haven't found the right method to grind vc for no money spent bill or if it just truly takes a, a decent amount of time but it, to me right now it just takes too long because we don't earn Earn a decent amount of VC like we have to play the game for hours and hours and hours just to stack up that VC and put it towards our build it's probably over 200k to max your build out like it's well over 200k it's less VC than 2k23 was but it's still over 200k you only earn like a thousand VC a, a, a game like somewhere in there a thousand maybe 1500 something like that so you know we got the quests and everything that we can complete to go earn vc but it's a lot of stuff that we can do now i know that some of this stuff we ask for as a community like you know the city and missions and all that quests and all this stuff like people wanted that stuff people wanted a more realistic basketball game but there are some things that we can fine tune and like just some quality of life changes to make no money spent grinding a little bit better like if we had more vc it wouldn't take us as long to grind the bills like i'm not saying give us fifty thousand vc every game but like give us more than a thousand to fifteen hundred because it's going to take plenty of games for us to rack up two hundred thousand vc for our players and then another thing trying to play some of these other quest games like the street ball games those have been frustrating to say the least only because when you start off the first two teammates that you have are not good of course you have to beat different tiers of players until you get to the best and then that's when you get the good teammates but it's still simple things that the ai doesn't do that it should if that makes sense so i know the teammates that we start off with they're like 60 something overalls i forgot their names man they piss me off so much but they're trash i've been sold plenty of street ball games like it's already gonna take me a good minute to grind this no money spent bill right playing the street ball games i don't want to have to sit up there and play every single tier to try to get better team mates to come to my team to beat the guys at the top like i want to go straight for the guys at the top but the ai doesn't allow me to be great because they're just you know not doing smart things like i understand they're 60 something overall players but it's just like common basketball things that they're not doing like i'll call for a screen and they're just like not slipping off the screen they're not they're just not reading the screen fast enough i have no idea if it's just the ai itself the rec center ais play way better than the street ball ais if i'm being honest they play play way better i need the rec ais when i'm doing these street ball games on top of them being 60 some overalls they miss wide open shots and it just cost me the game while i'm trying to play these top players because i'm trying to level up my build and do it in the least amount of time that i possibly can i know it's gonna take a good amount of time because i'm doing a no money spent build but still if i can play the guys at the top first and i don't have to like unlock the tiers to be able to play them i'm gonna go straight for the guys at the top because it's gonna make playing any other street ball game just as easy because i already have good players on my team if i could beat the guys at the top that's gonna help me i got some of the best players on my team i'm already a 60 overall bro there's only so much that i can do you know what i'm saying like you gotta at least give me collegiate level talent on my team like this the ais that you start off with in the street ball games they not even on the collegiate level like i would say more so like high school maybe even middle school as many shots they be out there missing and just not making smart decisions i understand they 60 overall but they just play like they have no basketball knowledge whatsoever so you know those are a couple of different things that i think would definitely help more vc and then give us some better ais because as a 60 overall i 
cannot do anything. So at least give me some good teammates so I can get the opportunity to do some great things. If I got good teammates, I can get assists. That's going to help me level up my player. And if I got good teammates, they can get me some good looks. They can set me some off ball screens and get me open and just do other stuff that can allow me to involve myself in the offense or get my teammates involved by getting assists, what have you, because I have players that can actually compete. And another thing, since we have 60 overalls, we're starting off at 60 overall, when I'm grinding my career, I know some people will just grind my career for the no money spent. They'll go out in the city, do the quest, they'll do the street ball games, they'll play online, whatever. We don't get enough VC for all that. So if I'm grinding my career games, I'm going to play it on Hall of Fame. Why? Because Hall of Fame, that allows us to get the most my points and the most VC. But guess what? Since it's on Hall of Fame, it's going to be difficult for you to hit shots because it's tougher. And the opposing team that you're playing against is going to be that much more difficult to play. They're going to be locking you up on defense. They're going be hitting their shots you know what i'm saying you a 60 overall you're not gonna be hitting nothing so you know that's another thing and it's like i'm not going to go down in difficulty because i'm earning less vc i need as much vc as i can possibly get so i'm gonna play on hall of fame so i'm not really too sure what they could do there but that wouldn't be a big issue if we just got more vc per game but let me know what you guys think down in the comments and what can 2k do for the no money spent players to make that experience more enjoyable and just more attainable overall because a lot of people don't want to do a no money spend because of how long it takes because we don't get a lot of vc for doing it you have to spend hours upon hours on the game to even try to max out one bill on a no money spend and people just don't have the time to do that like you know people have other stuff going on in their life and they play the game when they have some free time so if no money spent grinding was a little bit better then it would just be a better overall experience i think no money spent grinding is more rewardable on my team than it is my career because on my team now not to say that there isn't problems over there on my team because it is right we know that a lot of the cars for no money spent quickly get outdated because of cars they put in the pack market you can just buy cars and people just spend money trying to pull the best cars that's in the pack market and a lot of the cars that are in the pack market end up being better than the cars that you have to spend hours to grind for as a no money spent player which i don't think that should be the case in my opinion i think the car that you have to spend hours to grind for should be the best cards in the game but of course you know 2k is a business they got to earn their money so the cards that you have to buy those end up pretty much being some of the best cards that you could use but i think that system is more rewarding versus my career my career you you don't really get that much vc as a no money spent player versus on my team you can still get good cards as a no money spent player so i just wish there was a way that we can you know make some changes to no money spent as a my career player so that way you got more players as a no money spent coming into the park and rec pro am whatever having a good time because you know there probably are a lot of decent amount of people out there who aren't able to upgrade their builds like that so they have no choice but to do no money spent and they're out there are getting their ass kicked in the park in the wreck wherever they go because they have a bad build you know what i'm saying if they had the chance to level their build up then they'll probably have a better time on the game so like i said man let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section what do you think 2k could do to make no money spent better for nba 2k25 but i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of ranting slash talking type of video if you did be sure to like the video down below and hit that subscribe button for your boy it's free take you about one second be sure to stay safe out here and i will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.